Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, Ken Dom from KBD Productions TV. I've got my coffee and we're ready to do this tutorial on thumbnails and how to create your own thumbnails. Mm. A quick sip of coffee. So, uh, one thing before we get started is that uh, you can't uh, or you can only do th create your own thumbnails if you're a partner with YouTube. Uh, if you're not uh, a partner with YouTube, then you'll get uh, three choices and you get to pick one of the three choices. If you're a partner with YouTube, then you get this little button called upload thumbnail and that's what we're going to create and we'll click that and then we'll upload our thumbnail just like that. All right. So again, here's uh, a bunch of thumbnails uh, from my channel. And, and I don't always create a thumbnail for every single video I do, uh, but um, recently I have been doing that. And thanks to you guys for asking me to do another tutorial on uh, just things that you can do on the YouTube on your YouTube channel. Uh, because you guys asked me to do this video, uh, I got to find out that they've changed some of the specs. So let's go to the specs. And yeah, here we go. So if we up, if we click the upload button, it says uh, now we can go up to 1280 by 720, uh, which totally makes a huge difference. Uh, before it was 120 pixels wide by I think 70 pixels high. Now you can do these large images so that when you put your video on a website or any external website, whatever then the picture will look great. Uh, this is what it would look like if you didn't do that. See how awful this picture is? Uh, that's what it would look like on a website. Once we've uploaded a new picture in here, then it will look really sharp. And uh, let me show you, I guess I have another one lo loaded up here. Here we go. Mm -hmm. uh, let's cancel out of there. Go back up to the top so it'll look sharp like this. So we're going to recreate this uh, just so that you guys can see how I did it. Uh, we're going to be doing it in, I don't want to quit that. We're going to be doing it in um, Photoshop. This is Photoshop CS4. So we're going to start a new project, hit new. I already have that typed in. So you want to make sure it's uh, 1280 by 720. Uh, 22 or sorry 72 resolution RGB color click OK we'll size this so that you guys can see it that's going to zoom out so you guys can see the work area there we go there's our work area uh, we're going to start off by just painting the whole background blue uh, you can just pick any blue you want or you just be as creative as you want uh, and then we're going to get our paintbrush and we're going to pick yellow because blue and yellow are good contrasting colors. Obviously, my uh, paint brush is way too big. So you click here. Let's go down to 300. That's a bit better. Uh, I think if you double click, it'll go away. Let's paint a yellow there, a yellow there, and a yellow there. Done. There's our background. Now we're going to add um, another layer. On this layer is going to be our photograph. So we can actually click, say, place. So there we go. We'll use this one. It'll be that big. So we're gonna drag that out a bit. It's not a great resolution picture at this point in time, but we're gonna use it. So I put myself on this on this far right edge. Uh, actually, you know, it looked all right now. So we're gonna double, or we're gonna click on this, or double click on this little area, and it'll bring up our layer style. We're gonna put a stroke onto it. First of all, we're gonna pick a color. White is usually a good frame. Let's go for 15 for the picture. And then and now we're going to add another layer. And this is where our text is going to be. So let's grab our text tool. Don't know how big that is going to be off the start. So we'll put the edge walk. And it's obviously really tiny. So we go to edit, transform, scale, grab one of the corners and drag it out to whatever size we want. Now we're going to, you have to double click it to stop it from uh, wanting to size. So we're going to go to character. Let's just pick something really fast and easy. I think we'll just use Arial Black. So we don't need character anymore. We'll just go with, um, 
our layers. So let's double click this blue area. We'll click, click stroke. We'll uh, make it, let's go with the kind of the blue that we already have, maybe a bit darker, just so I have a little contrast between the background. Say okay, make sure previews cl uh, clicked so you can see what's happening. It'll be like a live update. I've already figured out that eight pixels is pretty good. Uh, double click it again because I forgot to do my drop shadow and I've already discovered that 25 pixels then you tab 35 pixels by 30 pixels gives you a nice thick uh, drop shadow and then you can move that over to this spot let's go with edit transform scale let's make it just so that it covers our picture and then we can just duplicate um, so now we have two edge walks. Since we already have all those effects applied to that text, now we can do anything we want and it'll update live. Walk around. And again, we'll go to edit, transform, scale, drag that out so it's at least the same width as the one that's above it. We can make our text. I double click that by accident. Let's transform, scale, drag that down. You can also fill up the area as much as possible with, with whatever is most important. And I think people, when they see this, they want to click on that before they want to click on a video with no, no th uh, thumbnail or not a very pleasant looking thumbnail. And that is your finished thumbnail. So now we need to save it. I don't need that anymore. So do a save as. Uh, edge walk, PSD, throw it onto your desktop, say save, make sure you save it as a Photoshop document, a PSD, click OK. That way if you ever need to come back and change your thumbnail because you just want to update it, uh, some people like to change the thumbnails every once in a while because it uh, keeps people, it's kind of like changing the, uh, the cover of a book. Uh, it's the same book, they just changed the cover just so people might be interested in buying it again, I guess, I don't know. Uh, so what you want to do is save as again, but save it as a, let me drag that up there a bit so you can see what I'm doing, uh, PNG. I think you can save it as a JPEG as well, but uh, let's just save it as a PNG and then we will, once it's saved, it's ready to go. So click on to your YouTube, scroll down to here, click upload thumbnail choose file, go to your desktop, there's your PNG, double click it. It'll take a couple seconds or longer. So there you go. It's uh, there, you say save changes. It's, it'll tell you that saving changes. And just for safety measures, I usually go up to the top of this window, say save changes again and it has now updated that. So there's our new image. So there you go guys, that's how you create a thumbnail. Be as creative as you want, look at what other people do. There are a lot of rules behind creating thumbnails. You can't do, um, you know, for this particular video, I can't have a picture of a woman's breasts just so that people will click on my video. Uh, it's against the, the, the YouTube rules. So uh, don't do anything inappropriate as a thumbnail. It has to represent your video. All right, talk to you later. Thanks for the suggestions, guys. Mm. I need more coffee.